this is Rebecca Dirks with PremierGuitar.com. We're here at the Montreal Guitar Show talking to John Widman, who's actually one of the American builders here. And uh, you've brought quite the array of guitars and a couple basses. Uh, can you tell our viewers just a little bit about who you are as a builder? Well, um, my main job is to build custom instruments for individuals. And what I try to do is find um, most of my clients have a, an assortment of guitars but they've always wanted to have something a little different. And so I try to fill that gap, um, not to replace any of their existing inventory, but to add a new brush to their palette, is how I describe it. Um, my lineup is uh, started with the Gig Master. Uh, I wanted an instrument that people could take to their local gig that wasn't too fancy or elaborate or expensive, but still had all the custom uh, features of a, a custom build. So the Gig Master was the first instrument in our lineup. Um, the Set Neck is our latest addition. Uh, with this particular instrument, we've uh, incorporated the sounding board of an old piano, which is kind of cool. Um, I've had this sounding board for almost 20 years. And uh, the piano that I picked up off the side of the road was uh, probably an 80-year-old piano. So uh, it's one of the most lively, resonant pieces of wood I've ever worked with. And uh, I like uh, trying to recycle that. Um, we're going to keep working on that. Uh, the electric banjo is uh, really a pretty new instrument. There are just very few people who build these. Um, I'm one of them. Uh, they have the mini uh, humbucker in them, which is sort of right off the old Gibson Les Paul Deluxes, but uh, they give the banjo players a chance to plug in, use effects, uh, and my one in Dorsey that does play it, they really rock out on them, so yeah. it, it's a great way to take a traditional instrument and uh, turn it into something that's a lot more fun. Yeah, that, that's great. Um, so what kind of uh, pickups do you use a certain company, or is it just a custom thing? No, this, generally I used uh, Lindy Fralin exclusively, and uh, it's been great having a working relationship with him. I've got a thorough understanding of the baseline tone that his pickups offer, and so if I want to push it or you know, alter it, uh, I know where I'm going uh, with that. So it's been really good. And so when somebody, you know, orders an instrument or buys an instrument from you, is it basically a full custom order or do you sell things just off the shelf type of deal? No, I, I make instruments like this, which would be my off the shelf right. type instruments, but it's really just a sample to show them some of my capabilities. And uh, what I enjoy most is working with the client to get them exactly what they want. Excellent. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you very much for uh, showing us what you brought here. It's got some really interesting stuff. If people want to learn more about your instruments, where should they go online? Um, it's www.whitmancustomelectrics.com. All right, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. This is Rebecca Dirks at the Montreal Guitar Show for PremierGuitar.com.